One day, in a busy city area, something unusual happened that involved a lift driver, a bicycle officer, and two women. It all started when a lift driver went to a nearby bicycle officer for help. He was upset because someone had ripped off the rear weeper of his car. He stopped to talk to them because one of the women matched the description the lift driver gave. What was she wearing? Jackets, black jackets. Yeah. She was holding the lady with the drunk. What? Lady. What? What color was her hair? I think it's like dark blonde, dark, skinny. She wearing a red shirt underneath. I think so. Would you be able to identify her again? Yeah. If you drove by, met me down at the corner of the 509. Would you be able to tell me if it was her or not? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. The officer needed to make sure he had the right person, so he asked the lift driver to come over and identify the woman. Hey ma'am, do you mind doing me a favor? Face the roadway? We'll just look at the roadway for a second. Yeah. And then, now you can turn around. It's not me. No? All right, cool. When the driver arrived, he confirmed that the woman in the black jacket was the same one who damaged his car. Even though she kept saying she didn't do it, the driver was sure. Right, here's that for you. She did a drunk lady and two guys. So right over here? Yeah. yeah, we're sitting over there. Hey, give me a second. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. You're doing your job. I'm not mad at all. You're doing your job. He just like described exactly what you're wearing to a T. So I don't know if he just like thought it was you, but it was somebody else. Yeah, so no, it's wrong. No, no. Like Thank I said, you for you're, doing, you're doing your job. That's right. <laughs> Have a good night, okay? No, you guys. Thank you. Hey, thank you. I just said you're doing your job. I just oh, said absolutely. I'm not worried. It wasn't me. Yeah. All right. So, can you step back? Wow. Are you offended? No, I'm not. I'm not offended. I understand what you're doing. No, 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 no. no you're good. Uh, so, it's just really loud behind us. So, I guess you guys ordered an Uber, right? We did. All right. Did you guys have an argument with the Uber? We did not. He pulled away. He pulled away. Did when someone we were pull on off that it? side of the road versus this side of the road? And yeah. We, we disputed it on Uber, and I can show you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Did, did someone pull? Did, did someone pull off his uh, back with the wiper? Try to stop him in any way? No, that's not. That's not. That was not an Uber. This is not Uber. That he ordered you and the as they talked more with the women, the officers found out it was all a big misunderstanding that got out of hand. Whatever, ride sharing, whatever. 
this is our lift that he has just ordered, and we're just trying to get His whole dispute was we were on that side of the road and not on this side of the road. I think his dispute was that there is a intoxicated lady that was too intoxicated. And I'm more than willing to show you on Uber what he disputed it as. No, 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 I got you. It's not my phone because it's Either way, someone pulled off. Watch out, there's a cube there. Did anyone hit the car? I knocked out. That's, his, that's yeah. what he's claiming, and there's damage to his car. Okay. If there's damage and to his he, car, he's pointing whatever, to you. Whatever you got going on, let's just get it resolved. I'm not sure what happened. Alright, I got you. Whatever you need to do. Give us a second. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, where's my, where's my car? Do you have a card? Alright. That's her right there. That was the one that I was talking to? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, she's intoxicated. They're both intoxicated, all right? The damage is less than $25. When I looked at it, you're able to connect it back on that it comes all together as one piece. I just want to replace. Yeah, I get that. Um, so, hey, is, is it really worth $25 to take someone to jail for right now? No. I'm just especially I, to start I, kicking my car up, man. I was no, I get it. And, and like I said, I've already assessed the damage, obviously. Um, she's drunk. He's drunk. Ooh. Other lady who's drunker than them. I'm glad you didn't yeah, take them because they would that throw up would have been in your car. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll talk to her, obviously, tell her, you know, she could have been charged, all that. But. Hey, come on, let's get out of the road. Hey. Stay over here. The women started to understand the situation better and even apologized to the Lyft driver. The officers decided not to make a big deal out of the attempted sign theft because the women were cooperating and the damage was minor. She needs to get them home right now. I'm more than happy. I called the Uber. I did every. I did. Okay, so you can go over there, but I need her. Why? But I did everything. Why? She did nothing. Wrong. Okay. You got an ID on you. Why do you need my ID? Because I need to identify who you are because I'm an investigation right now. For what? But she didn't do Because anything. somebody is claiming that there's criminal mischief here and that you broke his car. And I'm not So I need you. IDs from you guys. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I called you. I, I, I did everything. That was my, we're I need your ID. A, I need your yeah. ID. She doesn't yeah. have it. I need your ID. Yeah, that's not happening. I don't know what you're saying. And you're we're more than willing to help. We're more than willing to help. But there's two sides of this story, and it's a whole other. No, story. I don't need your card. I need, I need your ID. Don't walk, don't walk away. Don't walk away. Don't fight. I don't want to touch you. After the initial confusion settled, the situation took a more serious turn when one of the women became agitated. She was trying to explain herself but ended up in a scuffle with the officers. The woman, feeling cornered, accidentally struck one of the officers. This escalated the situation from a simple inquiry into a case of battery against a law enforcement officer. No, no, no! Get her off me! Get her off me! We're good! We're good! Get hey, back up! Back up! I will take you! I will take you! I will take you! Guys, we're good! Give me your hands! I will take you! What are we doing right now? We're good! I will take you! Get her off me! 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 Relax your hands. What are we doing? Guys, what are we doing? What are we doing? We got your hands. Yeah, we have Pat Elliott. Yeah, I know. She did nothing. What are we doing? 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 However, if you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cases like this. Relax your other hand. Another hand. You do not resist right now. Oh. Yeah, you have my money. What are we doing? You want my money? Give me your other hand. Get off. Give me your other hand. Relax your other hand. Give me your other hand. You do not resist right now. What is wrong? Give me your other hand.
Get it off me! Get me your other hand! Oh my god! Get me your other hand! Yeah, as the woman was subdued and handcuffed, the officers reassured her that they were not there to harm, but to resolve the issue peacefully. They explained the charges she might face, which included damaging property and resisting arrest. Despite her initial resistance, she began to understand the gravity of her actions and the potential legal consequences. Guys, what is wrong with you? Get The officers, trained to handle such incidents calmly, attempted to de-escalate the tension. They reminded everyone to stay calm and not to make any sudden moves. Despite their efforts, the woman's frustration and fear led her to react defensively, which only complicated matters. So, we were doing an uh, investigation for criminal mischief, and uh, she refused to identify herself to Knox, but Knox uh, went to grab her. Arm. She swung her purse at her face, Hit me with hit it, hitting, hitting her with the in the face, and then One second, obviously okay. we sued. Uh, you need to pull up, pull up, pull up right there. We, we pursued, and after yeah. bringing her to the car, she kicked my leg again. Just take my watch off. No. You were able to search her. Yeah. Stand up, so. I got it. I'll I'll it. Okay. okay. It was clear that what had started as a minor incident had spiraled into something much more significant. The damage to the car was minor, but the implications of the altercation were not. I'm sorry. I apologize. You know, you understand. I understand, but it's a little too you late understand. for that. You oh, it's a little too late. At, at this point, you at least understand. At least put my um, watch in the clutch so it doesn't get scratched. Yeah, it's not. Mess. Here's my contact information. Give it to him. Um, she did what again? She broke out the wiper. I had complained to them about it, and they were talking to her about it. And that's when she started resisting arrest, and that went down. Oh, okay. Are you are you going somewhere? I'm just gonna go out around. I'm working late. I'm Uber driver. Oh, okay. And your phone number is still good for. 
After the woman was taken into custody, the officers discussed the situation among themselves. They reflected on how quickly things had escalated and how such incidents could be better managed in the future. I don't have her name, she's Christian. No, 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 the guy. Say, yes, the guys were working a statement? All right. That's his date of birth? This is his phone number. You gotta call him when you guys are ready for his statement. Uh uh. No, he stayed. Oh, he said he had to go. I didn't know what he was No, I told him he had to stay. Oh, well, if he, want, he wants nothing to do with it, then it's fine. Well, he did. He said, call him when you guys are ready. No, we're not going to no, play that game. Okay. That's not how that works. Okay. Meanwhile, another officer met with the Lyft driver to discuss the possibility of pressing charges for the damage to his car. Hello, dude. How you doing? Crazy. I got a weird thing, man. Yeah. There's been weird people everywhere. Dude, I've been tackling people left and right tonight. There was six people kicked out of one bar. And like, it's a weird night. We got a, we got a Uber at home. She's lifted her knee and physically kicked me yeah, in the chest. She kicked me in my chest because she was getting hit. So are you alright? You want some water in your name? I have water, Red Bull, whatever you need. Anything I can do? Now she's going to jail. Oh, she, she's got... What did she do wrong? She kicked me. Oh, she, she hit her right. with the purse. I tried to tell her not to do that shit. I got yeah. it. Yeah. Obviously, she had too much to drink tonight. Without a doubt, but this I didn't have to happen. Hey, I'm sorry for the you went through. It's it's too late for that. Bro, who the fuck did you bring us? What's up? Oh. Hey, that's not mine. Right? That I just transported her. That's all I did. What the fuck did y'all bring? What, what's she doing? <laughs> it's not me. She's coming in here now. And she, and she said, I'll hit that woman again if I... Uh, <laughs> oh, she's about to see her again. She don't know what's going on. She is like... <laughs> So the driver was upset but also tired from the ordeal. He expressed his frustration but was unsure if pursuing legal action over the small amount of damage was worth the effort. The officer took down his information and assured him that they would follow up on his case. Thanks for coming back, obviously. Uh, so are you want you wanting the press charges for the damage though? Well, I hope that I, I tried to turn it on. Thing doesn't look like it's working. <laughs> it's all it's it's unconnected. Yeah. Um, you have the other portion of it. So that's the arm. Yeah. And then from what it is, there's another piece with it, but this arm goes in like that. Yeah. And uh, See, the thing snaps in. I try to turn it on, it wouldn't wind. Oh, it wouldn't wind? No. Usually these are like $25. Yeah. Um, are you one of the press charges for the vandalism then? If it helped y'all, show it up. I mean, she's already looking at felony charges. Okay. Um, this this right here is a misdemeanor. So again, it's all up to you. It's your property. It could be a gamble, like maybe a little bit more than $25 yeah. if that's, that motor's not working. Yeah. Um, Let me tell you, I, I work too much. I'm too busy. Okay, <laughs> I got you. So I work three jobs, man. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Well, I have your phone number, and I'll, I'll add you into the call. Your name was what? Terry. Terry. All right, cool. All right. Thanks, sir. And that wraps up our case of how a simple misunderstanding escalated into a serious situation. We've seen how quickly things can turn and the importance of keeping cool in stressful moments. Remember, officers are there to help manage the situation, but it's up to everyone involved to keep things calm. If you've ever had a similar experience or have thoughts on how situations like this should be handled, drop a comment below. We'd love to hear your views. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay informed, and see you in the next video.